connaissance Dans tous les sens interdits J'entends tout ce qu'il faut Les vrais, les faux et les non-dits Je suis une fille Et je plante mes talons Et puis en plein dans ton mille Lying in my bed, I hear the clock tick and think of you. Caught up in circles, confusion is nothing new. Flashback, warm nights, almost left behind. Suitcases of memories, sometimes you picture me. I'm walking too far ahead. You're calling to me, I can't hear what you've said. Then you say, go slow, I fall behind. The second hand unwinds. If you're lost, you can look and you will find me time after time. If you fall, I will catch you. I will be waiting time after time. Good evening, Legion, and welcome back to the city of New Acadia and to Bad Moon Rising, our Urban Shadows campaign here on Tales from the Grim. I am your MC Lauren, AKA That Salty Ginger over on the Twitter, AKA The Smooch Queen over in our Discord. And tonight I will be playing the city and many of its denizens. Basically, if you're new here, think of New Acadia as New Orleans set in the middle of the Buffyverse and you're good. But before we dive into what you need to know about what's going on in the city, let's meet our cast of characters. I would like to start with someone who has never had to face the consequences of her actions before tonight. Kiana, who and what are you playing? Hello, uh, I'm Kiana, uh, also Kiana S, also the mod mom over on Discord. Consequences? Never heard of her. And neither had Ophelia, the Tainted, uh, who is the character I am playing. Um, Bubblegum Pink definitely didn't murder a person. Um, definitely also doesn't have to face any consequences. So it'll be fine, right, Lauren? Everything's fine. Yes, everything's fine. Speaking of, nope, not going to do that. Greg, what's up? Hi, everybody. My name's Greg, Grimjack21502 on the Twitter, the Marquis de Baguette on Discord. Tonight, I'm going to be playing Doyle. Doyle's a dragon. Doyle has just found his brand new sister and bonus brother. Let's have fun tonight, everyone. <laughs> Lauren. I just want everybody to know I almost spit out my LaCroix all over my setup here, like I do every time. Greg talks. Allison. Lauren. Who are you playing tonight? Hey, everybody. It's Allie. I am playing Sister Claire Fiorentina, a nun of, uh, recently at least, of the, uh, of, what did I call her order? The Scholastic Sisters of St. Mary Magdalene, that's it. The Scholastic Sisters of St. Mary Magdalene on the run uh, from her order uh, once she discovered her powers as the Oracle. She sees the future. Yep, yep, yep. Great, good. Tommy, please save us. Yeah, I am. I am going to save everyone because I'm going to kill Greg. <laughs> no, I mean, Eden's going to kill Eden. A plus, <laughs> 10 out of 10, uh, inspiration, plus one forward, whatever. Uh, yes, but no, I am Tommy, Imperative Pengu on the Twitter sphere. Um, I play uh, Eden, uh, who is our resident wolf boy. Um, sad, angsty wolf boy, although less sad and angsty as of recently, but still very tired wolf boy um and very exasperated definitely gonna kill doyle 100 percent gonna kill doyle in his sleep one of these nights i swear 
he's gonna stab Doyle. It'll in probably his sleep. be easy because I'm sure Doyle is like sleeping over at his new family's house, right? No, no. He's, yeah. If he is, he's on the porch. No. He is outside on the porch. No, me, me, me yeah. would let him in after you go to sleep. Anyway, he does not sleep. <laughs> <laughs> then you die. <laughs> Avery, the best of us, please, please do something. <laughs> you're sure everyone that you're okay. Yeah. Uh, hi, uh, I'm Avery. I'm, I'm Matt Butt Online. I'm playing uh, the aware slash fae uh, Evangeline Johnson. Um, she's fine. She's she's good. She's just uh, she's just taking a little a little time out. She's all good. <laughs> she's See? Back soon, I'm sure. See, she's fine. she's fine. Everyone's fine. Press X for doubt. I'll do it. Let me do it. <laughs> there. Nailed it. Anyway. All right. Let's see what's been going on. Six weeks ago, on a muggy July night, there was a party held at a club hosted by a demon. That night, truces were made, family was found, and... One man died in a very public manner. Life in the city has been different since then, not only for our characters, but the factions they belong to. While the voodoo queen was distracted and enraged by the death of her friend Killian Mays, old homes in the Marini have been bought up under cover of night and quickly converted into short-term rental properties causing uh, the queen to seek out new allies. The number of disappearances in that area have skyrocketed along with instances of arson in the neighboring churches. The mayor's office has been too busy to comment as small gas leaks, purplish in tint have been cropping up around the city, resulting in a few deaths, most notably that of Carmen Ordonez, matriarch of the CBD wolf pack. But tonight isn't a night of mourning. Everybody, no, it's fine. I should have told him before. Shh. Anyway, it's the end of summer what? art walk. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing, Tommy. Anyway, it's the end of summer art walk uptown. And everyone who's anyone is there, though maybe they're not exactly the same as we remember them. Go cups, plastic champagne flutes, street art and open high-end galleries, mortals and monsters intermingling. Welcome back to the city, <laughs> especially Tommy. Anyway, we're not starting with Tommy. I'm gonna give him time to process his emotions in a healthy way. Ophelia. Yes. You didn't kill Killian Mays, technically. Technically. But you're certainly being treated like you did something wrong. Your patron has been ignoring you. Your roommate has disappeared without a trace. You wake up to voodoo fetishes on your doorstep multiple times a week. How have these six weeks been for you? And where do we find you at the Art Walk on Friday, October 25th at 4 p.m.? Ophelia, as she always does, takes it in good stride, mostly through distractions and seeking the high of whatever it is that she decides is it's fun for the day. Um, and so that's how she's been passing her six weeks, um, going to see her friends, uh, probably going out to get a drink with Doyle. Um, and uh, now that while she didn't kill Kay, she did happen to inherit some stuff of his. And so, you know, she's just been checking that shit out, seeing what's up over there, having some fun going through the weird library, um, trying to pay attention to the books and stuff, but more interested in the weird objects that are there. And her new cat. She has a cat now. The cat's <laughs> name is Reaper. I love, I, I love the cat already. All right, so where are you this evening then? Um, probably wherever the center of the action is, because that's always where the most amount of fun is going to be. 
totally totally all right you then would probably be on magazine street uh there are as said tons of vendors lining the street lots of businesses with their doors open it's still pretty warm almost unseasonably so uh, we're in the middle of hurricane season at this point, and though we haven't had anything major, uh, everybody's been oddly on edge about the weather. Uh, there have been some floods. There are those gas leaks that nobody's really nobody really knows what's causing them or when the next one will pop up, but most people are trying to forget that tonight. So, is Ophelia just looking for a good time? Wherever the booze and the fun times are, yes. Excellent. She's half expecting Doyle to be here already. <laughs> Interesting. Well, yeah, let's catch up with everybody then. Let's see where everybody's placed before we get into anything major. Doyle? Yes. What have you been up to? It's been family, family, family. It's been family's important. Uh, pictures at Sears. Um, you know, matching pajamas. Um, brunch. It's just everything that you would expect from a wholesome werewolf dragon family. Great. That sounds good. Uh, have you been up to anything else or has that been mostly it? Uh, that's the new stuff, the old stuff, the drinking, uh, uh, you know, blackout drunk stuff. That's that's still full effect. But, you know, there's there's family, too. Great. Great. Allie, <laughs> what about Claire? Um, uh, Claire is... Oddly enough, on Magazine Street as well, um, she's by herself right now. She's, uh, as we see her for the first time, um, she's coming out of uh, a place called Sucre, which is sweets and gelato. And um, and she has a cup of gelato with a couple of scoops in it that she's eating out of with a tiny little spoon. Um, what is most noticeably different, though, about Claire is that she's not wearing the hoodie that she wore as kind of a uniform or armor. Uh, she's not wearing her head covering at all. In fact, she's wearing kind of a cute sundress. Um, it is, um, it's, it's a maxi dress. Um, she's got some sandals on, but, um, she almost looks kind of like just a normal person, oddly enough. That's the most disturbing thing I've heard so far. Uh, I'm gonna go to the grouchy Muppet in the corner. Tommy, what's Eden been up to? But he's not <clears throat> planning the death of Doyle. Sure. <laughs> um, Eden has, um, well, he's ha he's been busy. He's been very busy. He's been keeping himself very busy. Um, he has had a wolf pack to reform, which has had its own difficulties. Um, a lot of difficulties. Um, may have had to knock a few heads around. Um, he has been attempting to... Um, patrol and clean up his uh, little part of town, uh, little Asia in, was it central, central, uh, uh, central city. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, um, he's been, yeah, and so that's been a lot of his time. Um, and he's been, I mean, I guess part of that is probably him like trying to investigate the things that have been happening around his area um so like trying to track down the arsonists um that he is 
fairly certain that Kara has something to do with. Like he's yeah, he knows. He knows that Kara has something to do with this. Yeah. Um, he's also been occasionally, you know, visiting a certain other character. Um, he's oh, he's cleaned up. He looks less ragged. He's still tired looking, but he's cleaned up. He he still looks like he doesn't get enough sleep, but he has cleaned up. Um, less um, less undershirts, more V necks. Um, you know, grooms his hair a little bit, um, shaves more than once a week. Um, so there's that. Um, but yeah, that's really been most of his. Oh, and then he's been wanting to kill Doyle. Um, oh right, right, right. <laughs> I almost forgot. I'm glad you reminded me. Yeah. Um, and uh, and I mean, I think he's he's at this um event because I'm assuming. Uh, Evangeline is at this event as well, but he's also there because I would like to do my uh, start of the session move where I'm actively um, look like hunting for someone. Absolutely. We'll get back to that because two of you have opening session moves. Uh, but first, hi. Hi, you. You over there. You. Lil you. Uh, what have you been up to? No, not, not if I'm doing cute you things, it's to Avery. <laughs> uh, yeah, she's been doing really well. Um, uh, at, at the moment at this artwork, she has like a little stall. Um, it's, uh, it's a little different from my usual stuff. Um, uh, anyone who went to the art exhibition saw that she does like portraits and stuff. Uh, this is a lot more abstract and a very much, you can tell that there's like inspiration from New Acadia. Um, like a lot of the, like, the scenery looks very similar to it. Like there's like images of like the park and such like that, but it's still like got that abstract. It's kind of like it's been put through a lens of some kind. Um, it's very eye catching and she's got a stall like that. And I think she's got like a little section at the front where she's doing like one of those chalk drawings or something just to, just to add to the, add to the pavement. Uh, but yeah, she's been doing great. She looks more confident um, rather than her usual, um, like keeping her arms covered and all that sort of stuff, like to hide her tattoos. Like she's out and she's wearing like a small sundress as well. And like, she's got, she's got her tattoos out. And she's, uh, she's comfortable in this hot weather for once. Um, but yeah, she's been doing great. Uh, she, she looks, she looks a lot less tired and a lot more like at ease, I guess. Great. So let's place our crew. So Claire, you were walking out of the sweet shop onto the very uneven cement of Magazine Street, the oak trees there. Some of the roots have uh, quite literally uprooted the cement over them, making for uh, semi-dangerous walking, depending on how much attention you're paying. When you are suddenly hit with a vision, and I'd like you to roll your opening move. Oh my. My opening class move is foretellings here it comes partial success on a seven to nine hold one during the session you can spend your hold to declare that something terrible is about to happen you and your allies take plus one on going to avoid the disaster that's great so as you step onto the pavement in your sundress and your sandals. It's not the same as the first time you had this vision. There are a few key differences. You're not in your apartment for one. The purple mist or gas vapor, whatever it is, isn't filling up an apartment. It's filling up the streets. You're still where you were on magazine, but it's nighttime. Almost nothing else has changed except all 
the gas lights have gone out and all you're seeing is what's reflected from the moon and you see this mist this synthetic vapor creeping through the streets around the oak trees and when you look across from the sweet shop you see what looks like Evangeline in her art stall choking again but to a much more extreme degree uh, she seems to be uh, looking into a into a reflective like a puddle on the ground it seems like maybe it's rained and there's water all along the streets this part of magazine floods really easily and she looks like she's reaching out to this puddle while she's choking what do you do I've become much more accustomed to the visions that I have. I'm able to recognize that, that that's what this is. And I begin to walk toward where she's lying. I'm recognizing that I need to cross a real world street to do this, um, but uh, mumbling prayers to my patron saints under my breath, um, knowing that they've given me this vision, that they'll protect me to see it through. And so I, I cross the street, but if you were watching, it would, it would just look like, it's almost like I'm sleepwalking. But I want to see what she's reaching for or what she's looking at in the in the puddle of water. So Claire isn't attempting to help her. She knows that this is she's like almost it's like she's lucid dreaming instead of just dreaming now. Yes. Is this a recent change? Did she figure this out on her own? It's relatively recent, in the last six weeks. Mm -hmm. And no, she probably didn't figure it out entirely on her own. Great. So as you cross the street, uh, this, this figure that's choking, uh, as you get closer, you see them reaching into this puddle basically they're like they're reaching for something and when you get to the perspective where you can see what it is you just see evangeline but that evangeline isn't choking The Evangeline in the reflection? Right. You can oh. almost see her. She's not really doing anything until you walk into her view. And then she starts mouthing your name. You can't hear anything. But it's just Claire, Claire. I, I pull up my dress just a bit so I can kneel down. And as I kneel down, I reach out to touch the surface of the water in the puddle. You do? Yeah. Okay. Cool. 
Great. Uh, I'd like you to roll Let It Out. Oh. Okay. That's a miss with a six. Right. As you touch the water, it ripples. It's just water. But now uh, the image of Evangeline is obscured and the one next to you who is not a reflection is still choking. And you start to hear other sounds of strained breathing from all over the street. If you look around, you see Eden choking in the middle of the street. You can see uh, Doyle. You can see a girl in a wheelchair choking. And it looks like there's there's nothing they seem to be able to do. They're clawing at their throat, but this purple gas is everywhere. And at the very edge of the street with what you can see are four figures standing seemingly not choking I'm I've just sort of as I'm watching the ripples fade out in the puddle I've just sort of reached out to the Evangeline that's laying on the sidewalk next to me and just absently sort of stroking her hair gently as if to comfort her even though I know she's not real but as I see those four I stand how far are they away uh, the length of a football field almost. Oh, okay. I wave. And I start walking toward them down the sidewalk. Uh, one raises their hand almost in recognition and then beckons you toward them. And as you begin to move, uh, light hits your eyes and you are no longer at the sweet shop, but across the street at Evangeline's art booth at 4 p.m. No one's choking. But Evangeline might be looking at you weird seeing as how you just stroked her hair. Evangeline. She is most certainly looking at Claire strangely. Um, yeah, she's kind of. I think she's like currently kneeling down. She's been drawing this this chalk drawing for a while. It's also quite abstract. It looks. It's one of those like illusion drawings where if you stand back, it looks kind of three D. Um, but yeah, she's just kind of like moved her head back away from Claire, and she. I think she's got a hand out trying to because I think Claire almost stepped on the drawing. It's like. Uh, uh, are you okay? Clara shakes her head. Uh, oh, yes, I'm fine. I'm fine, my child. So sorry. It's it's good to see you. And I pull my hand away. Uh, uh, and you, uh, she gets off and just dusts, dusts herself off. I think this dress that she's wearing absolutely has chalk all over it, but she doesn't seem to mind too much. Uh, I... How how are you? I... I'm 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 fine. I'm sorry. I saw you in a vision just now. Um, but oh, I'm fine. I... She just kind of looks at you for a bit and then just decides not to not to ask too many questions about it. Like, sure, I um, and she just gestures to her to her work. I was like. 
if you want to ha have a browse, f feel free to. I uh, just please please be careful gesturing to the the chalk on the on the ground. <gasps> oh, of course. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> Thanks. I uh, I uh, decided to try something a, a little different. Uh, uh, people seem to like it. It seems to be selling. That's uh, that's what matters, right? <laughs> It's what matters is that it's beautiful. Thank you. It's good to be. It's good to have it on display, display like this, I guess. Mm -hmm. And so I begin looking through the different pieces that Evangeline has hung up around her stall. Yeah, she, I think in between, she kind of leads you to her in between drawing this chalk piece. She actually, she does get up and she's like talking to customers and bringing them in, so. Uh, you'd notice with the art, a uh, lot of focus on the abstract, on mm, some florals, uh, no people. And that's, if you recall, how you met her, was you had her draw yeah. a, a face that you had seen. Mm -hmm. hmm. I take note of that, but don't mention it at this point, at least. I do occasionally, as I'm out toward the edge of the, of the booth, where I can see back down magazine, I do occasionally step out and focus my eyes far down the street again, just to see if I can see any sign of those people that I saw. Uh, you do not at this time. However, you do see Eden. Mm-hmm. Am I walking up? Yeah, if you'd like to be. What's your opening session move? Um... Are you on the hunt? Oh, okay. So the opening session move has more to do with, sorry, it's been a while, uh, more with patrolling my territory at the start of the session. I don't mm -hmm. think this is my territory, but yeah. I've been on the hunt for the person, like mostly right now, trying to find the person who, or the people responsible for the death of Carmen, because that's kind of a big deal, because I kind of owed a lot of debts to Carmen. Uh, <laughs> so that's kind of a big deal. Is that? Yeah, it seems like kind it might of a big be. deal. Very concerned. Yeah. Uh -huh. I, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. And I think that, I mean, I'd like, it may not be my opening session move, but I think he's definitely, while he's here to support, uh, Evangeline and to hang out with friends. He's also kind of here with like a purpose. He's also yeah. got some of his pack in the crowd because I think he may have received either information or some knowledge that someone, he might find someone related to all of this here. Um, so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so people you probably have out, they probably at this point, you think? Um, I don't know. Or is She's that been, still a work in progress? That's kind of still a work in progress. She still Great. maybe hates my guts a little bit. Great. So Dean is out. Yeah, Dean is here. Um, you know, I got some of my, I got a couple people from the old crew back together. So I don't know. Let me see. Do pull up characters. Um, yeah, yeah. So yeah, friend name like Bruce and Alessandra or something like that. So okay, cool. Yeah, couple couple members. Um, I don't think he's got the the strays out here. I don't. I don't think this is quite their scene. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Uh, huh. Interesting. Uh, I will tell you, the police have no leads on what happened to Carmen. Mm -hmm. uh, there was no evidence, and they're not even certain of her cause of death. Mm -hmm. That's all you would know at this point. It was fairly recent. Yeah. 
Um, so as you are uh, walking along the street, mm-hmm. uh, are you looking for Evangeline? Do you know where she is? Um, I think, yeah, I think he's spotted Evangeline at this point. Um, I think he's still, I mean, he's, he's, he's in a constant state of like taking in his surroundings. That's kind of his permanent mindset at the moment. Um, so like he's heading towards Evangeline, but like not quite looking at them yet. Cause he's just kind of scanning the crowd at the moment. Yeah. All appears normal. It appears like it's a regular community event so far. But the sun's still up. Okay. Um. Okay. Um, he will approach Evangeline, and I guess we see Claire at this point. Yep. <clears throat> Once Evangeline spots it, and she like gets up and like waves, waves him over, and yeah. uh, once, uh, once he's by the stall, she'll come in for a hug. Yeah, it's good yeah. to see. And... <clears throat> how's it going? Uh, how's uh, how's your stall going, Eva? As he sort of returns the hug, how are you doing? Uh, it, uh... As, as this hug happens, you get um, and it may be the chalk or some of the incense blowing up the street, but you get this very kind of overwhelming floral scent that almost clogs up your nose. <clears throat> Sorry, I swallowed some air down the wrong way. <clears throat> <laughs> she, uh, yeah, she pulls away, like, hand lingering on the shoulder for, for maybe a second too long. So it, mm-hmm. it, it's fine. It's uh, pretty, pretty overwhelming here. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, yeah just coming well. That's good. Um your stall looks pretty uh pretty awesome. I guess I I'm pretty proud of it. Yeah. You sh- you should be. Hey Claire. Been a minute, I feel like. Hi Eden. It's good to see you. Yeah, you're looking uh Normal? <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment, Eden. Uh, yes. Yes. That, I mean, you're just not wearing your sister, your sister's habit or whatever. Just that's, that was kind of your thing for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for noticing. <clears throat> and um, I think Eden probably still has like his his arm on like uh, Evangeline's shoulder. If <laughs> this point, um, um, yeah. How how have you been? I I've been I've been fine. I've been really good. I'm I'm still concerned with what's happening with the churches, but yeah, that's been. Uh... That's been an issue. I've had uh, had some people looking into that, but uh, I haven't uh, got wind of uh, anything else on that yet. Hmm. You will let me know. Of course. Yeah. I um. Oracle and all that, but I couldn't help but notice the. <clears throat> Yeah, the two of. Tell me about that. Um, about sorry. Uh, what? About what? Yeah, you you're still touching. You're still touching each other. <clears throat> oh, mm. uh, does <laughs> uh, the hair thing for a moment? <laughs> We're looks at looks at Eva. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> We've been, been hanging out. Yeah, we're, we're hanging out. Yeah. That's that's really great. I'm I am happy for both of you. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yep. Yep. And I mean, I you know, been you know, gotta carry all. You know, she needs someone to like help with 
move all of her art places and stuff, so... And... <laughs> uh, I think Evangeline will kind of give Eden's shoulder a little bit of a squeeze, and she's like, i got to get back to the store, but I'll let you two talk. And she kind of leaves with a little bit of a wink, and then heads back to the... <clears throat> heads back to talking to customers. Yep. And, like, I guess Eden will turn, like, you know, kind of, you know, turn towards Claire, but, like, at this point, he's not really paying attention. He's back in his sort of, like, scanning the crowd. Um, maybe giving the air a sniff every now and then. Does Is the floral scent still just clogging the, <laughs> clogging the old nostrils? Uh, it's really strong right here. <clears throat> uh, I mean, you've noticed it kind of uh, over the weeks, but you've never, like, said anything to Evangeline about it. It could be perfume. It, I mean, she has incense kind of set up because parts of Magazine Street can be smelly, honestly, no matter what you do. Uh, but as you go back to scanning the crowd, uh, something odd does cut through. Uh, it's the smell of sand and a little bit of blood. And as you're looking through the crowd, you see someone from the back. Uh, a man a little taller than you, uh, toned, black with a shaved head, wearing camo pants. Can't see his face, but something about him smells familiar and off. Does he look like a certain someone I know? Yes. Nah. <clears throat> um, hold, hold on one second. Claire, I think I see someone I, I know. And he's gonna approach this man and say, <clears throat> uh, okay, here's the important question. Does he only have one arm? Okay. Yes, he only has one arm. And he is... <clears throat> mm, as you start to talk, his walking speed increases. He doesn't uh, stop. He just keeps moving. Hey, Brendan keeps moving oh hey 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 um Eden's gonna try to catch up with him and um try to get in front of him yeah you see him like turning a corner down on like mm, like 6th street not too far away hey Br Brendan Brendan Waller you going after him yeah I'm going after him all right. We will be right back to see how that goes. There's a threesome walking up the street now. This is kind of near the entrance of the art walk, so most people pass through here. Of Doyle, Ophelia, and Mimi. Uh, Mimi is in her chair in the middle, looking like less formal. Like, she's adapted a little bit of Doyle's style. Like, her jeans are torn up. Uh, she just looks, like, really casual, which is just not Mimi. At least not uh, how she usually is. Like, when she goes to class or anything like that. Uh, but she looks, like, pleased as punch right now. Uh, just in the middle of these two. <laughs> Um, if I could fur oops if I could further narrate uh, uh, what I'd like sure. to do here I've been thinking about this and um, I, I, I want I put a lot of thought into it actually um, uh -huh. with the chair as you've described it before that Mimi travels on it has the armrests on it correct uh, you know a typical uh -huh. armrests with the um, Doyle is going to have a sort of a padded plank that goes between the two armrests 
He is going to kind of sit that there and he is going to sit and lounge and lay on his sister as Ophelia um, is behind them. And they can either, uh, Doyle will either move the chair or he's just going to ride as well with his sister and say how much he likes her. We lost Tommy. I, I knew it. <laughs> Tommy quit. 12, 12 seconds. Straight up quit. <laughs> Um, I, you know, compliments her on her Guns N' Roses t-shirt. Oh, yeah. And awesome. It's... Oh, she's thinking about getting a tattoo, too. Yeah. That sounds about right. Tattoos now. We should get yeah. one. We should both get one. We should all get them. <gasps> he looks up we at a field. Get... Yeah, we could get, like, um, I mean, is, is a dragon, like, two? Is that two too cool. much no on the nose no yeah i thought it was cool it sounded cool in my head we could get double dragons we could get them on our hands and we could like pound them also like um i know I that like... i know that eva has like a ton of tattoos and stuff maybe we could like ask her to do some of those maybe not on our hands because not on I, I play piano doyle oh uh, i think you know what you should do what I think that you should get musical notes running up each finger, up your arm and twirling around, and it turns into smoke around the elbow, and on your shoulder is a dragon. Whoa! I just came up with that. Tell Eden. I will. No, well, no, I won't. He would hate that. Well, tell him. I mean, we should let him know he's our brother after all. <laughs> she smiles <laughs> like the shit eating us grin. She probably learned that from you. <laughs> I, I hope so. You only have a couple millennia in this world. You've got to bestow what knowledge you can. All right. Can you get up, though? Because it's very hard to push myself and you. Okay. He kind of cups her head for a second, leans his head against hers. And, and actual... Ah, scratchy, scratchy. Okay, all right, all right, I'm up, I'm up. And he takes the, the seat and slides it into a thing in the back that he keeps it in whenever he's asked to get up, which is often. <laughs> and he'll just, he'll roll into, and if she wants him to, he'll just roll in behind and start, you know, assisting, not, you know, just helping. And he'll look yeah, over and feel let, you. she'll let you chauffeur her around. She feels cool. Where yeah. are we drinking? <laughs> I mean, there's alcohol literally everywhere right like well, i guess it's like what you want like because there's that beer stall over there and then there's like the like mixed drink kind of deal over there she get hurricanes he he stops and twists the the chair around so they're all in a kind of a huddle and he looks at ophelia now ophelia you mm -hmm. know as well as i know as well as mimi knows that i can't pick she can't pick the only person that can truly find a party in this town that can truly lead us into a realm of chaos and abandon. Well, that is you, my friend. So why don't you take the lead and we will follow you? O Ophelia just like beamed at that. I think you're like getting a little soft, but like, okay. <laughs> Truth hurts even me. Uh, yeah, and I feel like she's gonna turn around. Um, she's just gonna get the most ridiculous thing that she can find. Amazing, amazing. I'm trying to think. Do you want like a Bloody Mary that's like more like a sandwich, or do you want like I just want a hurricane? Maybe that's what Lauren wants. Maybe that's <laughs> what I want. I mean, again, I feel just like. She's drawn to bright, pretty colors and a lot of alcohol. So, like, perfect. Is there a drink that comes with a hat? Like, is <laughs> not probably yes. And like a stoop, like one of those really long, stupid straws. Yes. Right. <laughs> that goes around the hat before it goes down yes. into the drink. Right. Perfect. Amazing. Let's do it. Okay, it's a rum-based drink because I like rum, so that's perfect. what that's what it is. <sighs> Yeah, Ophelia's just gonna lead the way. She's um, actually because she's been spending some time with Doyle and with Mimi uh, now. 
uh, I think that she actually slows her pace enough so that they can keep up. Because normally she'd just be like, doop -doop, I'm just going <laughs> to go wherever. Bye. Don't care. But now she's actually somewhat conscientious of like pace and staying as a group. Yeah. We got to be careful. If we get separated in this game, it'll be weeks before we see each other again. <laughs> <laughs> He ties himself to Ophelia. Wait, wait. M Mimi is technically old enough to drink. Oh, it doesn't How matter. Old is she? She's like, like 20. Nope. She, like, Doyle never nope. asked. Nope. Nope. Pretty sure she's like 19 <laughs> at she most. Australia. She is a dragon. <laughs> she is thousands of years old. Ergo, nope. the laws nope. of this land do not apply. Nope. Okay. Nope. Okay, listen. Eden's not here. That's well, that, true. Well, then she's like 70 in dog years. Isn't that, I mean... We're, we're... <laughs> Eden's not here. It's the cool older sibling, apparently, and his friend. Yep. Also, uh, yeah. You can drink with, like, your guardian. Yeah, fine. It's like a rated R movie. Don't worry, I'm yeah. here. Everything's fine. Yeah, yeah. So you have your drinks. Up ahead, you don't see Eden because he's running off after someone. Oh, well. Uh, but you do see Evangeline's art stall and Claire. Well, I assume we stopped to get the, the big drinks and the funny hats first. Oh, yeah. Okay, yes. well, then that's what Evangeline would see as we roll up. <laughs> All three of you. Yeah, and, and probably in that last, like, little stretch, uh, Ophelia will bolt kind of closer uh, to do... If if Evangeline's there, she's getting the signature Ophelia bolt. <laughs> Have you two seen each other in the six weeks or no? Um, maybe once. Cool. Yeah. Uh, you are also hit with that kind of, as you get closer to her booth, this like overwhelming floral scent. Yeah. <laughs> so I think and she'll, she'll hit that wall of scent and then hit, oh, <laughs> hit Evangeline with a hug. <laughs> yeah. Um, Evangeline, definitely not used to that tackle hug at all. She, like I don't, I don't know if you'll you, you're sure that she'll never get used to it, but it definitely seems to take her off guard more so than usual because she was like focusing on her art, um, because I think she was crouched down still drawing, and she just and she whips around to almost be mad. It's like, oh, hi, hi. hey, um, did you like get a new perfume or something? It's like super flowery around here, or like do you have like, oh, and she just gestures to the incense. I say. Like, oh. It's a. Uh, it's kind of good to just have one scent here. I. It's pretty overwhelming in the. Uh, in the alley. Um, yeah, it's like super strong, but like not in like a super bad way. Just like a lot, which like for uh, some people wouldn't work so well, but it, like it works with you and like your whole vibe. So. Oh, uh, maybe I'll. I'm sure I could get rid of some of the incense at some point. Um, uh, Evangeline. Yeah. Some. Uh, I need you to roll something. Yeah. Sure. Uh, go ahead and roll with mind. Mind? Just a straight mind roll? Like, uh... Actually, let me, uh, let me, excuse me. So let me check something. Sorry, let me, let me check my notes. My, oh, let me check my extensive notes that I have here. While you're checking your notes then, uh, Doyle was gonna walk up with Mimi and be like, Hey, how you doing? God damn, who's got the flowers? I I think that's just like, oh, sorry, and then she's going to take some of the incense and just like snuff it out. <laughs> it, the smell doesn't go away. It's not bad. I mean, it's just surprising. You don't usually smell anything that smells good in New Acadia. Anything. I mean, I, I guess it's good to have the stall quite welcoming. I want to, I, I want people to come visit. Oh, sure. Well, remember, uh, incredible scent of flowers. Uh, you can roll with heart or mind, whichever's higher. Okay. Uh, 
hot it is. Uh, I'm just gonna click refuse to honor debt because it's a hot roll. That's fine, yeah. As a miss. Uh, you do have... Oh, I do have advantage. Yeah, you should. Just didn't boop it. Never mind, there you go, baby. Yeah, there you go, there you go. Okay. Good, that's great. So anyway. moving on? Yeah, <laughs> no, I don't need anything else. Yeah, sure. <laughs> uh -huh. So... Fia. You are all gathered. Hey, everyone. And I step up and um, and give Doyle a kiss on the cheek. It's nice to see you. It is nice to see you too, sister. Despite She's your sister too? Despite my new beard. Don't get confused. I ain't Jesus. Don't worry, Doyle. I, I, I don't think anybody would make that mistake. They might. No. No, I see the similarity, though, now that you mention it. I get Barry Gibb a lot. Who? And I'm also like... What? I'm old, everyone. Pretend it is very witty. <laughs> there we go. Hi, Mimi. Hello. Ophelia. Oh my God. Like I almost didn't recognize you. How was it? And she's like, definitely like, I think now she, she let go of Evangeline and is now up in Claire's personal space because personal <laughs> space never heard of her. Um, <laughs> and it's just like probably like uh, doing <laughs> like um, the things that like it's a kind of going over the dress and just be like, um, just fawning over it. Mm -hmm. And uh, Claire is, is, um, is if you were paying attention and really cared, which I bet you're not and you don't, is uh, half ignoring, maybe a little bit annoyed, maybe a little bit. Yeah, Ophelia. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think while everyone else is talking, Evangeline, like whenever other people have been having a conversation, Evangeline has just kind of stood back and just like appropriately reacted to the conversation, but not really involved herself. Uh, and looks kind of like she wants to get back to her drawing while everyone else is having their chats. Like she doesn't know how to step into the conversation, I guess. <laughs> uh, just like, like... Mimi's kind of looking at your art and you see kind of a perturbed look on her face. Uh, she is about to crouch down, just keep drawing, and then I think she notices this. It's like, is everything all right? Uh, yeah, it's just different. No, nothing wrong with different. Yeah. And she lets the conversation trail off and then just goes back to drawing. Hey, you guys realize the last time we were all together, Jimmy Buffett died? What's his name? Went through the chandelier? Who's Jimmy Buffett? Oh, Jesus. We gotta get you some more t-shirts. Okay. Uh, There's a great record shop just about three blocks up. Vintage stuff. Really cool. Peaches! That's the one. We should go to Peaches. Okay. They have records there, Doyle. Like, records. I know what that is. Yeah, like the big ones. They're little ones, too. Yeah, no, those are CDs. Oh. <laughs> Cups her cheek. Oh, oh, sweet summer child. I have so much, so much to show you. Never know what he's referencing. Um, I know. Yeah, and I think um, with the mention of Kate's death, even if not completely gotten uh, by some people, I think I feel like does actually kind of straighten up at that and like has taken a step away from Claire. And there's a 
from most people an uncharacteristically serious face, a serious expression on her face. Mm -hmm. Actually, even at the mention of the name, you there's like a physical uh, reaction in you, like in your stomach where it kind of turns over. Yeah, and she just kind of has that moment of discomfort uh, before she takes another sip of her drink as if alcohol would calm it down. All right, we'll leave the dead Killian Mays' name hanging in the air as we hop on over to Eden and his knife. <laughs> uh, following what he believes is Brendan Waller. All right, where is he? Is he so he, he turns down like a side road? Uh-huh. He just seems to like go to the end of the next block under some oak trees uh, and stops finally but his back is still to you okay um eden's not one to like grab someone from behind because that's a good way to get your ass on the ground very quickly yep uh, so i mean he'll just try to run up around in front and <laughs> hey hey and look like is it is it him yeah, it's Brendan. Brendan. Brend Hey. Hey, Eden. Hey, did, did you not hear me? I was yelling pretty loudly for you for like 30 seconds. I got some weird looks. No, I heard you. I just... Hey, 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 are you all right? Fun. Yeah, I'm like, fine. You don't... You don't look so good. His skin actually looks pretty ashy. Um, he looks like he's been like squinting all day. Hey, hey, hey. Are you? Like, it's, good. it's good to see you, brother. It's good to see you. You really don't look good. Have you been, are, are you sick? No, I, I feel I feel great. Mm, is there? <laughs> what, what can I? What can I roll here? Can I, is this like a figure someone out? <laughs> sure. Like I'm, I'm trying to like. Yeah, yeah. Roll, figure someone out. That's fine. Uh, this is a, uh, this is a straight roll for me. That's a ten. Nice. All right. Uh, he is in your faction, actually. So oh, you have an extra question. What did you do, Lauren? I didn't do anything <laughs> to any of your NPCs. I would never. I'm okay. Yeah. You just straight up murked one of them. Listen. Um, <laughs> yeah, I did. And, and my and his sister. His sister. <laughs> uh, his sister's fine. Okay. Figure out someone. So you got three. Following your character, setting, hoping to get some. Well, um, character hoping to get some blank. I mean, what? What? I mean, sorry, it's kind of weird trying to angle these. Questions. Yeah, yeah, I know. Um, I guess kind of. Uh, like, first confirming, like, he's definitely not well, right? Like, this isn't just, like, a, like a not eating well or anything, right? Like, Right, yeah. It looks like something is seriously wrong with him. Okay. Is this anything I've seen before? Yeah. Yeah, this is what happens when uh, vampires start to turn someone and they stop halfway. Son of a... Hey, 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 Brendan. Wow. You <laughs> damn it, boy. Um 
Hey, Brendan, you haven't happened to have seen uh, Kara lately, have you? I did run into her, yeah. Uh huh. She get uh, a little familiar with you, maybe. Mm hmm. That sounds. Oh boy, buddy. Um, when what? When did when when did you uh when did you see her last? I was hoping to get in touch again. Yeah, that's that's what she wants. This is what she was talking about. All right. Um. Hey. 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 Um. You wanna you wanna come with me? I know I know some people that can help you out. No, I have to. I have to go back. Well, you have to go back. You have to go back. Where? Where? You know. Let let me let me you know let me help you get there. You're you don't look like you're gonna make it at this point. You're a bad liar, bro. I am a I I don't know what you're talking about, Brendan. I gotta go, man. Where where you, where you got? I can't I can't let you go when you're not feeling well, Brendan. No, I'll we're be all, fine. We're I all, just we're all army buddies. We can, we look out for each other. We have each other's back, right? I'd be a I'd be a pretty shitty friend if I let you get hurt. I gotta follow orders, man. I mean, you're not... Whose? Whose orders? Hers, man. She's not... She's not your commanding officer anymore. You're out. We're out. I don't think I ever got out. I, 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 I feel you on that. Look, look. Why don't we go get a drink first, and then you can go like that'll pep up, that'll pep you up, and um, that'll pep you up. We can catch up for a couple minutes, and then uh, I'll let you go on your way. Yeah. Roll persuade an NPC. Great! I'm so great at heart. <laughs> Heart's one of my best stats. You got a big heart, Tommy Tom. Uh, uh huh. Yeah. Oof, a oh. Oof. oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Oh. <sighs> Oof, a doofa. He gets real close to you, and with his one arm, he like touches your face, and you can smell that sweet stench that you associate with death coming off him already. I don't think a drink's gonna help me much. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> He's just standing really close to you now. Hey, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, okay, L look, let's... Uh, where, where are you going? Where are you heading? I can't tell you. Okay. Okay, um... He's still very close to you. I can show you, though. Bad idea. Bad idea. Bad idea. This is a bad idea. Um, shit. Why do I owe this guy my life? Um, <laughs> um yeah. Yeah. Why don't you show me? I'll, I'll go with you. I'll make sure you get there okay. Um, thanks. Yeah, and then I'm going to snap off a quick text message to my crew. Nope. Who? Nope. Who are you sending a text to? Bruce. Not Bruce, sorry. Um not Bruce. Um um I am Dean. Dean, there we go. I'm okay. snapping it off to Dean. Yep. What are you telling? Like, <clears throat> um I uh tell him sort of where I am right now. And then sort of the direction we're going in general, um, like northeast or whatever, mm -hmm. um, and you know whatever street we may be going along. And I tell him um, something strange: uh, a vampire is involved. Um, please send backup. <laughs> okay. Fantastic. All right, let's 
cut back over to the group, still all together at this point, which is hilarious. All right, yeah, you're all together. Is there anything in particular anyone wants to get up to? Are you just partying? Are you shopping for art for some reason, any of you? Hey, I just noticed there's not a single terror or singular rain cloud following us around. Where's Eden? Uh, he said he was going to be here ahead of us. He was here just a few moments ago. Oh, no. Yeah, he, he headed out for something. I, I'm sure it's fine. I better call him and make sure everything's all right. People, 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 people. Do FaceTime. Do FaceTime. I want to. I want to see him. O okay. He has no idea what that is. Okay, people. she'll take your phone from you and do it. I don't <laughs> have FaceTime. I have a shitty phone. <laughs> His phone's shittier than mine. I have a uh. shitty phone. Hold on, hold on, everybody. He looks up to me. That's that's. You gotta be cool here. Ring, ring. Ring, ring. Um, uh, ring, ring. As um, Lose Yourself starts ringing out, <laughs> and he looks down. <clears throat> shit. Shit, 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 shit. <clears throat> He's going to keep calling if I don't answer. Ring, ring. I'm, I'm right behind you, Brendan. Um, and I flip the phone open. <laughs> Hi, Eden. This is Twitch Terms of Service. They're not real okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Eden, hey, Eden, Doyle. Eden. Hey, uh, hey, Doyle, say hi to Mimi for me. Hey, uh, our brother said hi. Woo! Nope, not your brother. Not your brother. Not I'm That's Mimi's right. brother. Not your brother. I know. I... He's my brother, so I got you're it. my brother. So the transitive property. Nope. That not how it works. No, he means bro. It is. He it means is. bro. Nope. He means bro. Nope. I got you. I understand. You got a rep. It's bro. I got it. Hey, man, what are you doing? <sighs> what do you need, Doyle? What, what are you doing? I, um. Hey, I saw I saw an old army buddy of mine, and we're just going to go catch up real quick. Hey, why don't you come with us? Remember that night that Jimmy Buffett died? That was the last night we were all together. And if you're here, that means all of us are together. Who's Who? Jimmy Buffett, Ethan? Jimmy Buffett. He's dead. Remember the guy fell through the chandelier, dressed like Jimmy Buffett? K, K you mean K. Okay. No, no, his name was K. <laughs> hey, man, this is your world. Uh, oh what do you, what need, do you want, Doyle? Do? What do you want? What do you want, Doyle? Listen, man, you said we were going to hang out. Yes, and, and we will. Where are you? Soon. I am, and I say, I say somewhere on the other side of the, of the fair. Where, where are you? You, you know, have I, floral scent in your nose. <laughs> Thank what's you, up, man. Hey, what's up with that? That's pretty overpowering. This incense is intense. <laughs> yeah, so I'm on the other side. Hey, we're just, we're just, you know, running to catch up real quick. Um, he's a bit, he's a bit, you know, um, you know, he's a bit, he's not really like, Hey, remember cool with you know, new people, you know, after the war and everything. And oh yeah, yeah. Something on her phone. Hey, you remember that last time we were all together, and that was the night that you got your ass like thoroughly kicked because you were off by yourself. <laughs> what? I no, I don't. Oh, uh, you what? did. You got your ass kicked hard. I remember the next day. Yeah, you're you're pretty. Okay, is this a different day than the day I actually did kick ass, or? This is a you different don't, day. You don't kick ass, Eden. You just get your ass kicked. Also, I know where you are. I, I, I know where you are. She knows what? where you no. are. I gotta find my no. friends. I'm like, what is that even? I don't, I don't even know what that is. It's a family app. It's like, I can find you. I I've can got, find oh, I've phone. got you on it, what too. I know your what password. I the, know your password. I just did find my iPhone, but for you. I'm on, I'm on the family plan, too. I can do that. Hold on. No, you're not. No, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. No, you're not. There you are. I'm your best friend and brother. I, I am hanging up. I am hanging. Look, look, for I please, if you if you appreciate 
If you want this relationship to be in any way non completely antagonistic, Doyle, get there immediately. Get there my immediately. Old boundaries. <laughs> I, I understand. Right. Wink, wink. I'll be there in a second. Don't you worry. No, no Just, that is not what I'm saying. Keep, keep, prote keep, protesting. keep protesting. If you need help, keep protesting. I'll be there. Don't you worry. I'm coming. I won't leave you hanging this time to get your ass kicked. A folly friends and family plan. Doyle, Doyle. Yes. If you have any, if you have any love for me in this world, you will let me. You will let me hang out with my. Old army friend. <laughs> well, let's, let's let fate decide, okay? No! <laughs> no, let's not! Of course. Before, before you hang up, can eventually just tap Doyle on the shoulder and answer the phone. Like, what once your conversation's done. Absolutely. Hey, uh, uh, we've got someone here who wants to talk to you. Hold on a sec. Girlfriend wants to talk to you. <clears throat> um... Uh, Eden, and she just she's gonna walk off behind us. Hey, hey, hey Eva. Hey, what's going on? I, <clears throat> I, I, I don't know. Uh, I, you're part of the conversation. You sounded panicked. Okay, I'm not. Okay, the only reason I'm panicking is because I don't want Doyle here. I am. Well, I don't think you like about that part. There's more to it. I can tell. <clears throat> Look, I spotted an old army pal. He's not doing so great so i'm just making sure he's okay Alrighty. um she just pauses for a bit it's like okay just stay safe like, just promise you'll come back okay promise you come back to me uh, i always do <laughs> anyway, Alrighty. and uh she'll hang up <laughs> oh <laughs> she just hands it back <laughs> We'll let fate decide, I guess. What does that mean? It means if you can track him, then we'll let fate guide us in an intercept course. And if we happen to pass him, then that's fate. Okay. I I don't think that's how fate works, Doyle, but what why doesn't doesn't he does he not want us to find him? Says he wants to hang out with an old army buddy. Ethan doesn't really have old army buddies. He has like old army inmates. They all had a lot of issues when they came back. Hmm. He said he'd be back soon. Ish. But I and she just points to Mimi's phone and so if, if you need to find him. You're not... You don't want to come? I'm, I'm sure he's fine. I'll... I have to... And she just gestures to the store and say, I gotta take care of this. Oh, wait a second. Oh, that was code. He's going after vampires. Oh, that's fate. I don't like vampires. Ophelia and I kicked some vampire ass on the same night that uh, uh, Eden got his ass kicked. Yeah, they yeah. were like, it, it was super like fun. Oh yeah, that guy like owes me a couple. We tore that one in half. We did. <laughs> Set one and, like, on fire. The other one, and like the other one, I got like his phone number and everything. And I'm pretty sure he like owed me for like not killing him and all that stuff. So you should, yeah. Our are you sure, Mimi? I'm not positive, but he had like, he had like a rocky relationship with like the person he not really worked for, but she was the one there. You remember Evangeline outside of your art show and she was definitely a vampire. It was the same person. So I assume old army buddy is I'm gonna go get her or something. She's Doyle, just we not in along, like not really. Yeah, it's like yeah, yeah, I, I remember. Doyle, we should go. Go get him or just leave. Yeah. Yes, we should go after him. I agree. All right, let's do it. 
I'm ready. It's rock and roll. Yeah. Evangeline, are you are you sure? I I think you should maybe come along. Kind of gets up and say, like, oh, I, I mean, Eden can take care of himself, but if you really want me there. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think you should, I think you should come. Yeah. Um, she looks a little frustrated, unchar- uncharacteristically so. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, she'll uh, she'll just essentially get the uh, get some sheets from behind her stall and just cover up the art and cover everything off and put the uh, put the castle in a bag and stuff. So, Alrighty. And I'll help with with direction if you direct me. Um, are we are we ready? Hell yeah. Uh, All right. Lauren, I'd like to make a roll if you would allow me to. Sure, sure. What would you like to do? I would like to roll, and I'm not sure I can, so I'm going to ask before, obviously, I just go ahead and just start rolling shit. Um, Yeah, yeah. Uh, This here seems to be a bit of a a street party. It seems to be a focused conglomeration in the area uh, that may or may not have devious undertones. So I would like to roll what? I like to party. Yeah, 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 yeah. Our custom move by our dear friend Summer. Yes, do it. Okay, and that is a, what type of move is that? Uh, You just roll something with heart. So anything that says heart next to it. Roger, roger. Roger, dodger. Let's do persuade. Nice. On a seven to nine, something is wrong here and you can feel it in every beat of the music. The MC will tell you what lurks in the shadows here, just to see you. All right. So, uh, there is music playing, actually. It's, I mean, different music is playing from so many of the stores. Uh, There's a live band, maybe at the very front entrance of the art walk. But as you're all gathering your crew you get it's like the hair on the back of your neck stands up and you look back the way you came there are four figures that catch your eye uh they're not together they're entering at different times some of them are looking at booths um but there's finally a smell that cuts through that floral whiff it's and it almost kind of clogs your throat for a second you don't see anything that would be causing this but it's acrid it almost like singes the hair of your nose as you smell it. Uh, Only you notice this. It is... You're not sure if it's here yet. It's almost like it's just blowing in on the breeze. Uh, He would... If they're moving, he would move close to Ophelia. And he would go to light another cigarette. There's four people back there. One of them seems to be looking at the beer shop. Another person seems to be looking at uh, some posters on the wall. Two other ones in the back, yellow and red shirt. Uh, Yeah, Ophelia is going to actually take the cigarette as he lights it. Uh, to take a drag, and she's gonna turn as if she's looking at the rest of the party to like check as if they're they're keeping up. But she's gonna do a general look around, uh huh, and just try to to spot these people. <laughs> yeah, how about you roll, put a face to a name? Oh boy, and you would roll with power. 
And you can go ahead and mark that faction if it's not already marked. Not already marked. Cool. God. On a hit, you know their reputation. The GM will tell you what most people know about them. On a 10 plus, you've dealt with them before. Learn something interesting and useful about them, or they owe you a debt. Okay. Um, since this isn't for each individual, I'll give you kind of a general thing. Um... I'm trying to think which one you might know. Oh, you recognize the woman with the silver blonde bob uh, who's overdressed because you saw her leaving the blue. Mm-hmm. Yeah, six weeks she ago. She was the put a pin on it Yeah, lady. we'll get back to that. <laughs> yeah, we'll get back to that. It's probably not a big deal. Uh, but you recognize her from that. Uh Another man who stands out more to your demon senses than any, anything. There's a priest. Someone in priest garb. Uh, and uh, a very well-dressed man with uh, tan skin and almost silver hair. Uh, and another man who is kind of... Uh, wearing a shabby coat and looking much more nervous than the others but they're they're not together but it's I'm gonna say it's something that that you can sense is like their connection to each other you can see they're all wearing rings even at this distance on their uh left fingers yeah, so she'll she'll finish taking uh, the drag of that cigarette as she does that kind of circle of just like, hey, we all keeping up and turn back. And she'll lean in to give Doyle back the cigarette. Um, kind of for anyone outside, almost looks like a couple or something. Um, mm -hmm. And as she, she brushes past his cheek, she just says, yep, they're all together. It's almost like a new so maybe we should probably speed it up a little. Keep an eye out. Are you scared of these people? Just like not scared. What am I like ever scared? But like just weird. And usually when we've had weird, it's usually like either we have to fight, we have Mimi here. Um Yeah, I'm right I'm right here. Who are you looking at? <laughs> All right. It's a good point. What's a good... Who are you looking at? <laughs> Ophelia will just, like, put a hand on, on Mimi's shoulder and just be like, a couple of weird people. Uh, Doyle, we're going to put a pin in this. Mimi's looking like back where y'all were very subtly looking um and she says oh hey that's my music professor I should go say hi um <laughs> I mean we're trying to kind of find your brother so maybe we should do yes. that y yeah. and also you have a drink right now Excellent. I mean he doesn't care he drinks with his students all the time it, you know don't want to bring too much attention and just like go back to Doyle being like well, you're a demon? <laughs> I think Ophelia just laughs at that only the best kind like you know the one that's kind of have fun but let's put like a pin in this Doyle and go find Eden he's talking with that girl mm. <laughs> the pretty one from the the party. Doyle, what's her name? Is that the one that ran you all off the road? No, your girl, the girl. What? 
She turns your face and you can see the tan man with the silver hair talking to Penny Lane. Oh, fuck. <laughs> and he <laughs> flicks the cigarette out and starts walking back. I, and, and I'll feel like, um, oh and normally she'd be all in for a fight, but like this has been a weird six weeks and she's more cautious than she used to be. Claire? I have not been paying much attention to this because I've got my own phone out to make a call, presuming uh -huh. we were on our way to get... Sure. Eaten. It looked like that for a second. It did, didn't it? In yeah. fact, I, I probably already... I already... I probably hit send when I started noticing what was going on here. Uh -huh. um, so you know who I'm calling? Who? I'm calling my new dear friend to let her know what's going on and to see if she has anything that can help us. All right. The Do you want me to that? Oh. Oh, I don't I don't need to like Why would you need to roll to make a phone call? I don't know. I thought I might have to hit the streets or something. Madam Marie's tonsorial parlor. This is Marie. How may I help you? Marie, it's Claire. Claire. No, I, I know who you are, dear. Um, that, that group that we've been discussing. Yes. Um, my friend Eden maybe about to get in a tangle with them. The rest of us are are uh, following along to back him up. Just wondering if uh, you had any insight into what might be going on there right now or any help that you could send our way. They've been over in the Marini, where are you? We're on magazine right now, but we're following him. Mimi, where was he at this point? I'm looking down to Mimi. Where where was your brother headed? Your real brother. Wow. Um, uh, sorry, it's backwards in my head. North, east. Oh, I could have just turned around. Northeast. <laughs> Northeast, he's like going on St. Charles. Or around there, not actually on St. Charles. Okay. Um, so I mentioned the neighborhood to Marie. Oh, he... Uh, is he going there of his own free will or is, has he been taken? He's Sounds like he has a bit of a headache you know she's been getting them lately hmm. he's following someone old army friend or something i don't know if he uh, thinks he's following them but he's definitely being lured that's <sighs> the vampires control most of uptown especially that area Is there anything you can do for us? I don't, I, I'm not going to let him walk in there alone. Do you have any bets on her? No, we're even right now. Even Steven, okay. Um, I need you to roll a persuade because she is reluctant to leave her territory right now. Mm -hmm. It doesn't need to be her per se. Let me roll the persuade. Oh. Yeah. Just how about roll. a big old success? That's great. Oh, you had advantage on that. You gotta remember to use those. Okay. Persuade. Uh, on a hit, they do what you ask. Okay. So what is it exactly you'd like her to do? I would like for her to 
protect us in some way, whether that's sending a member of the faction to uh, join us or watch out for us or use some kind of power to, to shield us or protect us kind of in the same way that, um, that my wizard friend once did. All right, Claire, I will focus our energies on you. What do you have on you? Um, oh, I have the um, I have the sundress. Do you have anything smaller? You want me to? All uh, right, smaller. No. That's fine. That'll. I didn't ask what you were wearing, I asked what you had on you. Well, I do have it on, Marie. Sorry, I'm kind of, uh, yeah. It's fine, friendship takes work. Okay. I will see what I can do. Thank you. She hangs up. And now I'm back to the others. What What is this commotion? I think we'll float away at this point as Doyle is heading over back to the entrance. Claire has just gotten off the phone. Eden is somewhere uptown. And Evangeline is on another plane entirely. So, Evangeline, you have just awesome. stepped through a mirror. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. What do I step into? It looks just like the room you came out of. Is there anyone around? Mm. You hear laughter coming from around the corners but you don't see anybody it was kind of like a mirror maze okay is there like the mirror that i stepped through still behind me uh-huh Alrighty. can i turn around and look through that yeah yeah you look through and you see yourself but different smiling uh taking more off hmm more confident oh definitely taking off uh the jacket that you had had with you um to reveal the dress underneath uh just kind of touching up not moving in sync with you at all just kind of like touching herself up and then making eye contact with you, giving you a little wave. Yeah, she's like, like she's staring in shock for a second, but then she starts like hitting against this, this, um, this mirror. It's like, no, what, what are you, no. She starts like sticking her tongue out at you, very almost impish, like a quality to her. She just, steps back a bit just and she's gonna look around and see if she can find any kind of exit mm -hmm. the other uh you walks away from the mirror and uh you can make your way out of this room you kind of retrace your steps it's it's much bigger than you remember though and soon enough you are just lost among mirrors um okay um she's, yeah she's just looking around she's gonna go into her bag and she's gonna get out maybe like a piece of charcoal or something and she's mm -hmm. gonna start tracing along the mirrors as she as she searches mm-hmm try and like have like a hand against yeah. a mirror as long as far as she goes because she figures like if it's a maze if you follow the wall you'll eventually mm -hmm. why don't you roll keep your cool you have advantage 
with advantage already. Yeah. Um. Keep your cool. Oh. Love that. Mm hmm. That's pretty in character. It's two misses. Oh, wow. Five of his six. Uh, what situation were you trying to avoid? Uh, I guess just getting lost further. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> so, as you begin to move, you find yourself, even with the charcoal marks, uh, eventually going in a circle. And it's like you've drawn yourself in one as you move with them. But every time you try to go a different way, you just end up circling back mm. to the first mirror. And it's getting to the point where it's almost overwhelming you. Mm. Yeah, she's just like, she starts running hand, hand through her hair, like, just, like clenching her fists. Um, she gets her phone out and checks it, probably to no avail. Um, and I think she just sits down for a second. And she's like, no, no, what? And she just sits there, like, head in hands for a second and just tries to breathe and collect herself to try again. Mm -hmm. As you're sitting there, you start to hear music. There was music playing at the club. This doesn't sound like that. There's like no beat, but it's music. Uh, does it sound like it's coming from a particular direction or is it just omnipresent? It sounds like it's coming from a particular direction, at least right now. Alrighty. I mean, she has nothing else to go off of, so she's just kind of gonna get up and take a breath and then bring that jacket over herself a bit further and mm -hmm. uh, she's gonna head in that direction. I'd like you to roll escape. Escape. Um. Uh, no, I remember there was an away move that had an escape thing but I think no, it's a corruption move, never mind. I remember saying something about it. Escape, where's that? Oh, good. Hey, hey. hey. Oh, yeah. that's fun. That's oh, shit, uh, On a hit, you get away on a 10 plus, choose one. You suffer harm during your escape. You end up in another dangerous situation. You leave something important behind. You owe someone a debt for your escape, or you give in to your base nature and mark corruption. I think considering what's happening, I think owing someone a debt might work if anyone else is here. Absolutely. All right. Let me pull up my chart. Excuse me. All right. As you're uh, sitting there lost and and you start to hear the music uh it switches directions almost as soon as you start to head toward it uh to the point where you can't get any kind of bearing on where it's coming from there's there's no real way to tell direction in here and then you start to hear that laughter you heard earlier grow until it's this cacophonous echo in here. Everything, all the sound bounces and bounces around. And you just start moving uh, until you are nowhere near where you were, but you're not sure that you've gotten any closer to an exit until one of the mirrors in front of you opens. And light comes through, like daylight. Before, she's gonna approach her a little bit, just kinda, uh, hello? I, 
and she just steps through. She looks back a bit and sees this maze of mirrors with lines reflected off of every fucking surface, and she's just mm -hmm. like, no other option, so... And you step through into Arcadia proper. And I think that's where we'll leave this first episode. Yay! Sorry, y'all. <laughs> Person you've known for, what, six weeks? <laughs> I don't know her. Sorry. Never. Evangeline, never. I don't know her. Never heard of her. Never heard of her. <laughs> everything's great and fine and great tommy's face is everything right now <laughs> so i was gonna say i, I blame tommy eden should have yeah, figured this is, out yeah i really feel like eden should have figured it out and he just, yeah like, what's that what's that phrase something about like love making people blind <laughs> Gee, i would have loved to roll for this maybe <laughs> i don't know like how many hints i could give you honestly tommy I'm sorry, maybe you murking one of my NPCs and then bringing it, the other one in. Did it distract you? Were you thoroughly distracted? Maybe. Hi. Anyway, let's go in reverse order, see how our players are feeling. Let's start with Avery. Hello, I'm Avery. I'm Matt Bat Online, and I play two characters in this game. Wee. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, um, I'm an artist and cosplayer. Uh, I did the art for this stream and it's a few beautiful. other streams on we love it. this channel. Yeah, um, Jesus Christ, this was, I am so happy to be back. Kinda, <laughs> kinda not quite back, but <laughs> I missed my girl with girls plural now, so. Yeah, they're both probably really good girls. Yeah, we know one of them definitely is. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll find I don't know. I'll see see how things play out. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. Anyway, it's fine. Let's, what what should we do? Do you think we should ask Tommy how he is? Yeah, let's move on to Tommy. Tommy, how are you? <laughs> I see messages popping up. <laughs> <laughs> you traitor! What's up, Tommy? I, I, I don't know. How do you think I'm doing, Lauren? I I don't you know. Doing? Really well. Um, I think oh. you're my favorite person to torture. So does that make you feel better? I don't know. I'm not quite sure. You're like, you're like my. Uh, I, I'll figure this out later. But hey, hi. You straight up murked one of my very important NPCs. Have given the other one some sort of vampire virus, and my fucking Doyle. <laughs> So, sorry I didn't know, I mean, I had an inkling, but I don't think Eden was that, oh god. My poor, poor child Eden. I don't know what I'm gonna do. He's just, oh my god. Tommy's reminding me so much of myself right now, I'm living for it. Hi, I'm Tommy. Uh, Lauren's favorite post, apparently. Um, I've... Yeah, I'm Imperator Pango on the Twitter sphere. I'm, I guess I'm gonna just have to channel some of this for a new show I'm running tomorrow on the Greyhawk channel. Um, it's a D&D 5e campaign called The Paradox Report uh, at 8 p.m. Eastern. Um, it's a bit of X-Files meets Agent Carter, um, I like to think. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be fun. Check out my Twitter. I'll be putting up posties with my schedule and where I'll be. Um, other than that, um, I don't know if Eden can really, if I don't know if I can take any more surprises, Lauren. <sighs> what, a, what a great night. I feel so validated. Hey, Allie, what's up? <sighs> Uh, this was so much fun. I have missed this group and I've missed this system and this super cool world that you've uh, that you've created. And yeah, Claire's Claire's growing and changing and I like it. It's fun. I just I mean, I figured I couldn't come out of the last season, I think with more corruption than anybody else. Mm -hmm. I think and not be at least a little bit different. 
Um, yeah, those sundresses is scandalous. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I know. It's Just a sign of true evil. Well, I think the sign of true evil is that she's now friends with the voodoo queen of New Acadia. Marie's super nice. Everyone should be her friend. Uh huh. Yep. Well, Claire is, so that's cool. I think. Um, this is great stuff, though. Loved every second. Hey, everybody. I'm Allie. Find me on Twitter at Allison Robinson with two L's and a Y. I've got a new pinned post with all of the stuff that I've got going on for the fall. Um, follow me there for times and channels. And have a great week. Greg? I had a blast. This is fun. Uh, yes, Tommy acts exactly like you do. Um, I love it. I love uh, I, I love Tommy just off the bat. It may not appear fun. that way. But um, I mean, I had a knife drawn on me. I <laughs> uh, it was fantastic. It was fantastic. And um, uh, Avery, a, a, a tip of the cap um, for the different characters. I, I enjoyed it very much. Uh, Doyle never would have picked up on any of that, and I like the masking scent too, which was a uh, very clever way to hide Fey nature, which is interesting. So we couldn't pick it up since we're all like supernatural beasts and shit. This is a great game, super fun. It's good to be back with everybody, uh, walking around New Acadia or Cadia, wherever the hell you're stuck in. Uh, Grimjack two one five zero two on the Twitter. Part of the tales from the Grim team here on the Twitch. A week from tonight, I start my long form D and D campaign called The Realms Remembered. Uh, it is going to be fun. It is a mixture of Game of Thrones, A Knight's Tale, and the pop 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 culture references of Boz Luhrmann. Um, I have uh, cover bards that are coming in to sing everything from Prince uh, to Eminem. Uh, that will be woven into the narrative. So if someone's walking down the street and you hear Raspberry Beret, that shit's going to happen. So uh, check us out. We'll be leading in next week from uh, starting at 6 p.m. Eastern time. And uh, we'll, for the foreseeable future, we will be the kickoff show for the evening, going right back into where you are right now, Bad Moon Rising. So until then, meet, talk to us on Twitter and, in, and on Discord. And uh, I can't wait. It's going to be fun. Back to you, Lauren. Thanks, Greg. Uh, let's go over to Kiana who, hey, hey, you know, things are okay so so far. Yeah, things are fine. Um, we're getting some hints to some of the changes and consequences. Uh, one, she has a cat now. Uh, two, voodoo <laughs> shit's been happening. It's not great. And three, she's cautious, kind of. Like she's old Ophelia would have just been like, let's fucking go. I'm gonna go talk to them. Yeah, who are they? Let's beat them up. Yeah, she's a she's a little just a little more hesitant on these things. Um, and the funny thing is, I had a guess that it was like changeling fey bullshit when it was a flaw, but Ophelia wouldn't have known that. <laughs> Ophelia would have been like, "Cool, new perfume, whatever." <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm over here being like, "There's some fey bullshit going on here," and I know because I do fey bullshit all the time. Um, but yeah. It's, just, it's so good to be back here in near Acadia. I can't wait to do some more. Uh, but until next time, you guys find me over on Twitter at KinaS. Best way to figure out what I'm doing. I'm on the internet doing all sorts of role playing things, whether that's streaming, writing, shine to the void. Obviously, find me on the Discord at Mod Mom, uh, where I like to yell about our games and all that stuff. Uh, but the book thing I'm going to plug is that I, alongside many friends of the channel, including John, um, are part of a D&D anthology uh, that's called Harper's Tale. Uh, it is going live on Indiegogo uh, tomorrow. Um, and basically it's a story uh, that was created by um, Harper, who is a uh, childhood cancer survivor now. Um, and so all of the uh, funds that will be raised uh, will be going directly to charity um, and so we have this amazing like level one to 10 adventure uh, with different writers doing different chapters. I'm doing a chapter, Don's writing the finale, I think. It's going to be super awesome. So definitely check us out over on Twitter. Um, it's a Saturday morning scenario, Matt Corley. 
um, all that stuff. So make sure to signal boost. And of course, I'll be signal boosting a lot as well. So come and join us for that. Uh, and I will also be doing, uh, I'll be running the charity live stream for that in a couple of weeks. Greg will be on it. Uh, so it's going to be a lot of cool stuff uh, to help support kids with cancer. So yeah, that's, that's my big plug and all that fun stuff. But I can't wait to be back here in the city, all that fun stuff. Awesome. All righty, that is everything. Uh, well, I should, I should say who I am. I'm Lauren. I'm Matt Salty Ginger over on Twitter. I'm part of a team here at Tales from the Gram. I'm in the realms remembered, and I'm super excited about it. Uh, I won't. Lauren, I think... I'd like to interrupt you. I'm sorry. I'm so very, what? very sorry. I just wanted to let you know that Mal will be yeah. guest starring on this season. <gasps> so just. Mal! Mal! Yay, that's awesome had all our favorite favorite guest stars have been on the show it's awesome that is excellent right back to outros i'm very i know things things that are happening lauren salty ginger realms remembered six eastern next week it's gonna be awesome i have full cosplay full cosplay the art is like based on the cosplay i got i'm just i'm very excited um and then we have Star Trek on Sundays at 7 Eastern. And otherwise, you can just check out my Twitter for uh, things that I do. I do things sometimes. It's great. We're going to do some spooky games over on Salty Sweet uh, for October, which I'm excited about. I'm finally going to get to run Bluebeard's Bride. And we, we have a lot of fun stuff planned. Uh, anyway, that's it from me. Is there anybody we can go raid? Um, I will check as we look around, but uh, I would just like to let you know that uh, Avery won our poll tonight. So, uh, <laughs> Evangeline in several. Yeah, which Asia. Evangeline? <laughs> That's why I just which said one? Avery. <laughs> <laughs> you I'm notice right. how I kept saying you? Two of them. Okay, special delivery for Evangeline. Great. Good. Love Thank it. Yeah. Uh, oh, do you have is... to offer the Arcadia? <laughs> so many things. So many things will be offered. I don't know that you should accept them. All right, <laughs> uh, we will go raid uh, Josh, who I think is running over on uh, role players, everybody. So uh, oh, cool. uh, when you raid, uh, let's raid uh, with uh, Evangelines, plural. And um, how's How that? Weird. Does that sound all right? Is no, that... no, we're not doing that. We're gonna raid with Faye bullshit. Faye bullshit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Make it work. Yeah, ease it up a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Uh, are you done, Lauren? Uh, are you have anything? Yes, I'm done. Awesome. So everybody, as the campfire goes down, there's only one thing left to say. You can't always roll net twenties, but you can always role play with Avery and Tommy. Allison, Kiana, Lauren, and Avery. We'll be back, everybody. <laughs> See you next time.